In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple job application form just like this one. With this application form, your user will go ahead and enter in their name, their email address, phone number, position they are applying for, and then their career goal. They can also go ahead and select the source from which they have heard about your company. And finally, they check this box to indicate that they have accepted the terms of this application. So, if you want to learn how to create a simple job application form in Word, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Having opened Word, first of all, I give my application form a title. So I just enter job application form. Hit enter. Next, I go ahead and insert a table. So I go over to insert click on table I click on insert table and I'll give it four columns the number of rows will be seven and I click on OK to insert my table in the first row I jump the first cell then I go ahead and merge the rest of these three cells I highlight it then I go over to layout under table tools then I click on merge cells in here I enter full name and this way the applicants will enter their names next i'm going to go ahead and merge the whole of this row that is the second row so i click on merge cells take note i'm still under layout so this row i've just merged i'm not going to use it so i come to the next row first of all i enter email i'll go ahead and jump this cell and i come in here then i enter phone so this field right here will be for the email and this will be for the phone next i make this row right here so i just click on merge cells after highlighting in the next row i click in the first cell then i go ahead and enter position applying for then i'll go ahead and make the rest of the cells right here i click on merge cells Next, I make the whole of this row. Awesome. And finally, in here, I enter career goal. And I'll go ahead and merge the rest of the three cells here. Awesome. Outside the table, I hit enter and I type in how did you hear about us? Question mark hit enter. So the options are your website, enter, Google search, enter, television, radio from employee, hit enter. I hit another enter, now enter agreement. Perfect. Now it's time to format my work. So I start from the top. Maybe I can add the name of the company. So I say, first of all, let me add a logo. So I go over to insert pictures from device. In here, I have my logos. I insert it. It's too big. I reduce the size to this much. I can center it at home. Next, I go ahead and deselect the image right here. Then I hit enter to take my title to the next line. In here, I go ahead and enter the name of my business. Hit enter. I select this text. Then I go over to font. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font to area black. And I'll increase the size to 16. I change the case to uppercase then job application form i highlight it i increase the size to maybe 18 and i'll make it bold awesome next is the table 
I select it by clicking on the cross icon right here to highlight the entire table. Then I go over to table tools, click on layout. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the height of my rows to one centimeter. And you see that my text inside the cells are hanging on top. So I go to alignment and I go ahead and choose align center left. Perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and reduce the spacing in here. So I take this line and move it towards full name. So what I'll do is I make sure this cell is highlighted. Otherwise, if it is not highlighted and you are going to move it, it will move the entire line throughout the column. And I don't want that. So I need to highlight the cell first so that I will tell where that I'm moving only this particular line. So I click on it with these two headed arrows and I move it towards full name like this. I'll do the same thing to email field. Perfect. Next is phone. For the phone column, since it's only one line, it doesn't cut across. I can reduce it without highlighting the cell. Okay, I went ahead to reducing the rest of the columns. Next is this text. I'll just select this and I'll go ahead and bold it up. And then agreement, I bold that one up as well. Awesome. In here, I'm going to provide some boxes that the user will tick. So to do that, I go over to insert and I go to shapes. I choose rectangle. I'll come in here and draw a small square or a box. It doesn't necessarily have to be a square, something like this. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this box for the rest of these options here. You see that in here, grabbing the box is very difficult. In here, if grabbing the box is going to be difficult, I'll go ahead and zoom in so that I'll be able to grab it very well. So with these four headed arrows, I hold down Ctrl plus Shift and I click inside and I can drag it down. With this, it will just be in straight line for me. And I'll also make sure it's in line with my options right here. So I use the arrow key to position it well. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the three options. Perfect. Now I can go ahead and zoom out. Finally, I'll add another box for this particular agreement section. So I'll select it and I'll go ahead and press Ctrl plus D on the keyboard to duplicate. Now I can click on it and move it to where I want. And this way I want to place it. You can also decide to place it at the beginning of the text, whichever way you want. Now I don't really need this shift here. So what I can do is I go to shift format, then I go over to shift style. And the shape fill, I choose no fill. The outline, I change it to black. Then I go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of these boxes. So what I can do is I can select them all holding down control key on the keyboard. Then I go over to drawing tools. In the shape fill, I just go ahead and click on the command itself. And then the shape outline, I click on it to choose my black color. Perfect. And now the design of my application form is done. So that's it on how to create a simple job application form in Word. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.